Hello, hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Road to Completion. Um, we are level 76 right now, and we have to do a few missions again. Actually, we don't have to do a few missions, but uh, in the last episode, we uh, basically completed the whole main storyline up until we have um, we have to face the warrior. And at the moment, I don't want to. I don't want to face the warrior, actually. I mean, it does give a lot of XP, which is what we're going for, but... The thing is, I want to keep the warrior, like, uh, available to fight up until we uh, reach OP level 10. Now, I do know that you can actually always fight warrior. Yeah, okay, let me, <laughs> let's wait a moment. Um, I do know that you can always still fight the warrior, even after you defeat him in the story. But of course, in the story, you do have the uh, moonshot. And I plan to save that moonshot to insta-kill the warrior for farming a conference call if I need to. So that means I don't want to complete the whole mission, and I might as well go to the next DLC. And that could be either unassuming dogs... <clears throat> but I also still want to farm a perfect OP-10 uh, Grog Nozzle. Even though that's really like the main mission doesn't affect uh, that farm at all. But I just don't want to do the Oasis again. So uh, let's do Captain Scarlet's DLC. Is there going to be a cutscene? Ah, there it is. You're not getting fed this week. Now, this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blaze, lost treasure of the sands. Of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it. Of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it. Of a monstrous leviathan. Of the vault hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See, that's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. Um, yeah. You can well, make of that what you want to. Alright. Save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water! Let's save him from the filthy sand pirates that tried to steal his water. The town of Oasis. Uh, these guys are pretty much all weak to uh, fire. So uh, why don't we switch to the fire bone of the ancients. And the Godfinger should do uh, pretty well here. Ah. Oh boy. Is he trying to shoot me with a shotgun from there? Come on, man. That's insulting. Alright, me missing those shots, that is also a little bit insulting. Easy. Oh, that's a super badass pirate. Well... He did now. Oh boy. Don't. I'm just gonna stand here and soak the. Actually, I won't. I will, apparently. Didn't even break my shield. Oh, I already lost all of my critical sand. Oh, I forgot to turn on the patch. Okay, that is something I will have to do. No scope. Ooh. Wait. Did it just jump in slow motion? Yep. 
There's one guy with a... Oh, I was about to say rocket launcher, but apparently it was this guy. And I think it was just a very slow bullet speed AR, I guess. But as soon as I lead my short uh, shot, he stops moving. Isn't that funny? Give me some water. Alright, alright. Thank you so very much, my friend. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> now that my water is safe, let us chat in person. Like people. Yeah, we'll chat in person like people. Sure thing. Uh, and at the moment, I'm just checking if the recording is actually on. It is, so let's continue. Coming from Oasis. Oh, the photon set. Will do, Captain Scarlet. Will do. I am Shade, and you—you you are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. Why is he drooling so much? He doesn't even have water. Like, shouldn't he spare his uh, liquids? Look at him. Disgusting. And uh, he does have a nice Vault Hunter glasses, I guess. The townspeople of Oasis. Oh yeah, I need to go to the sand skip. Um, at the moment, I don't have to kill any enemies, so that means we can do our Fable Turtoys with the movement speed relic, the afterburner. It does help. I didn't farm it for nothing, you know. Well, actually saying that I farmed for the afterburner is not very accurate. Like, you just have to do a mission and uh, accept your mission reward. I did farm for the Fable Turtoys, however. It's like at the very early days of this uh, playthrough. That would be a shame, it wouldn't it, Shade? Oh, going too far. Alright, so if you want to. His neck is so weird. Wow. Uh, so if you want to skip some of the dialogue here, don't start with picking up that. Uh, that thing, what is it? A regulator. First, activate the next uh, dialogue and then skip the dialogue by picking up one of the parts. So that's Jennifer, but uh, there we go. Skip that. And then we talk to her, and then there should be a new one under the bed, and then we're gonna skip that by picking it up. And then we should be able to pick up the one in the car. Actually, I picked it up too early. What shake? Alright, and the last one. Now, I won't be doing the full DLC, because uh, I want to save the farm for the Sandhawk for level 80, well, OP-10. And the Pimpernel as well. So I'll just get all the way up to Herbert, I guess, and then... Uh, yeah, I might uh, actually do the... Uh, no dessert for desert deserters mission to be able to farm 
I forgot what his name is. The guy with the uh, that can drop the pimpernel on the patch. Well, I've been farming that guy like a lot in this playthrough, but I haven't been playing that consistently lately. Do I need my antagonist for this? I don't think I do. The fire pimpernel is good enough. Oh wait, we're not even money capped. I only had 70 million. Hmm. Attach those parts you retrieved to the sand skiff. Then you may scan it and summon one from any catch or ride machine. That's one, two, three, four. She is fixed. Wonderful. Please hit that button to digit scan her into the catch or ride system. If you want. And then we can sell our uh, green rarity. Weapon that we got. You may now destruct a sand skiff from any catch or ride machine. Before you go off to meet Captain Scarlet, though, you must return to me. Luckily, none of these sand hogs are actually perfect. So, I wouldn't feel too bad about having to farm new ones at OP10. This one is pretty close, though. But it has a uh, bandit grip. Instead of a doll grip. Like, actually for the Sandhawk, the most important thing is the stock. If it doesn't have a doll stock, then it will only burst in three shots instead of four. For some reason. Okay. Let's go to Captain Scarlet. Now, luckily, I don't have to farm for a orphan maker because uh, <coughs> my Salvador. I've already done that on my Salvador at OP level ten, which at some point I will throw in a little bit of a. I was about to say montage, but I will throw in some clips of me farming the stuff, uh, like the antagonist, uh, some B shields maybe, or at least a good one. Uh, of course, the Orphan Maker, and uh, maybe even more, but I have already farmed some stuff for OP-10 on my Gunzerker, because uh, leveling a Gunzerker is a lot faster than leveling a Zero. Oh yeah, the skips. Let's uh, equip our shield again. And a corrosive bone. No scopes. Where's the other car? Skiff. Oh. <laughs> there it was. Why would you place your boat over here in the middle of the desert? That makes no sense at all. Although, to be fair, there's a lot more things in Borderlands that don't make sense. Cold-blooded killer. Oh, right. I should probably... 
to easy pieces. Uh, yes, these these are pretty easy. I hate there's folly is that way. Yeah. As long as I remember not to, like, do too much of the story and accidentally unlock the Sandhawk already at this level, then we'll be fine. Now, to be fair, <laughs> I won't get further than level uh, 77 by doing this, but at least we'll get started with this DLC, you know? Well, she is right. We are pretty expendable, because every time we die, we just respawn. Fast travel. Ooh, that was a scary gun. Some kind of Torg bullets. So, there's a lot of water under the city of Oasis. <laughs> Who would have guessed, right, Shade? Oh. A surprise. <laughs> there a sorry, ammunition station? Yeah. I mean, if you're having fun watching people get killed, you're, well, probably the, pretty much the definition of a psychopath, but also really sadistic. But then again, I'm playing a video game where I have to kill a lot of people. Whoa, that was a lag spike for some reason. No scope. Oh yeah, I have to enable the patch. There we go. And now I have to kill that pirate again. Let's check it out. Yep, running UCP 4.2. Sure, shield recharge delay, why not? Always nice for the B shield. Or the flame of the firehawk. Or the black hole. Or the sham. <laughs> or the antagonist. Wow. I clicked, the game lagged for a moment, and then he died. Ooh, at OP10, I might want to farm uh, the rapier. That could be fun. Let's try uh, this little skip over here. Let's not forget to unequip my grenade. that yet. I don't think I need any more grenade jumping. So let's re-equip our longbow slag transfusion grenade. Yeah, bad relics. Kill Sandman. Does he spawn if you do the skip? I forgot. Oh. 
Nope. Oh yeah, but you can. No, that can. Don't do that. No. Oh, that was a little bit sketchy. Did I screw up? I might have screwed up. Yeah, I need to be on that top end. Oh. Wait, did I hit that first sniper shot or was that the antagonist that shot him? It looked like I missed. Yeah, it was probably the antagonist. Alright, let's try this again. Um, I'm gonna get back up there. Alright. Wait. I am so confused. Why? Okay, let me. Sorry. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. Wait. Okay. Did I go the wrong way after that little skip? No, pimp. Why are you so strong? Like, that's a slag weapon. That's not supposed to one-shot kill enemies. I guess we can just walk the normal way. This antagonist will uh, keep us safe. Yeah, they didn't even do like a quarter of my health. Okay, that might hurt a little bit. Yeah. Slag transfusion grenade. He is talking crap. I might aim is also crap. Is he gonna explode still? No. All right, Buccaneer. What? That was a lot of shots where he took no damage, even though I sh sh shot him straight in the face. I pretty much took the normal way. That skip I did earlier, I, I kind of forgot what the last part was. Doesn't really matter though. Let's kill Sen now. For some reason, Sandman is super quiet. I think I'm just in his range for his voice lines. Badass. Yeah, reflect my bullets. That will do you any good, right? You look so tiny from up here. Did Sandman just told me that? No, why am I slang? Don't. Could use some health. I know what the third compass piece is. Iberians got it. Judging by what they've been saying over the radio, I'll just use my uh, ability. They're gonna ship it out on a caravan in the world water. I've just got it. Oh, wait. That jackass from Oasis. 
is coming after me. ERB diary. Well, that's lucky. Come on back to Wellmwater. So Alright, so this is one part of the skip, but... Much closer to finding the treasure. Then you're here... Where Sandman would spawn. But the weird thing is you should be... Coming in through there. Oh, I think I... I know. Alright, sorry about this. Let me... Let me check. So you would go this way. Wait, I did that. But... Oh, there's a chest here. That's the wrong button. And then... From here... You jump up on these rocks. I guess. Alright, let me just try it. Whatever, we're here now anyways. Can I walk on this? Please say I can. For science? No, it's not these rocks. Did I just get lost? Whatever, I don't want to try it. I don't want to fall down and have to walk back. Uh, actually, I don't want to walk back at all, because uh, the next mission objective is uh, near Wormwater. A Hyperion convoy. That's a joke of a mission. And we do want to equip some corrosive damage. Which I already did, apparently. What did I equip corrosive damage? Everything is weak to fire. I just literally said it myself earlier. Am I forgetting something? Uh, okay, I'm gonna fast travel. Man, I'm too rusty at this. I'm just mindlessly uh, following the, uh, the waypoint on the map. But this is a lot faster. Oh, I equipped it for these sand skiffs that I had to kill. <coughs> Excuse me. So we go this way, and then turn left. And then we raid the Hyperion convoy. With our 10 million HP skiff hovercraft Turtle shield. All right, bye. Three down. The compasses, but I think I have to take some pieces here now, right? His name is Herbert, and he lives out in the oh, a gift box. Okay. Yeah, I knew I had to pick up something, because I always, like, skip to, like, I, I start going to Herbert. And then I noticed that there's, like, this objective here. Pick up the gift box. So Herbert is... Oh, wrong. Well... You can rest easy for now, she says. No, that's accurate. But Hermit is the same way as the convoy, which was right over here. And then to this right area called Hater's Folly. Huh. 
I didn't take a wrong turn. Wow, badass that can't even shoot my through my shield. My Oh actually I wanna kill that one. That's a lot of XP. Oh, eight, only eight hundred and eighty-two. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect to kill him in literally one slag pimpernel shot. Should have known better. You'll see. Yeah. I like that addition. Wow, she really knows Herbert very well. Oh, apparently I have to sh shoot his barrel, right? Alright, I'd say that worked. It's just standing here across the map, just sniping everyone. Isn't that great? Don't block. Was that not a headshot? What is hitting? Wow. In bird culture, that is considered a dick move. Radium. Now, I, apparently, I found out that um, I don't even have all the Iridium stuff balls. Well, actually, there's a staircase over here. I've never gone up, so I really want to... That is super anticlimactic. Stop rolling like that, man. Oh my. Okay, fine. You get what you deserve. Okay, so have any one of you seen Joker? That movie was great. Look at the antagonist just slagging people. He's all the way up there. You get what you deserve. All right, he lives. He's a lucky man. And someone is out of breath. No, not the cursed pirates. Get lost. Oh, two for Terry. There he is. He can drop the pimper now on the patch with the patch. He always has a pretty scary, like rockets or, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, can't I headshot him? 
Hello? How hilarious. You Wait, what? My trap card. Your death approaches. That was a crit. Oh, was that the Pimpernel? Nice. Barking Pimpernel and corrosive with a <laughs> flat of grip. And a doll stock. You know, damage prefix, but a flat of grip is not that bad actually. Like fire rate on the Pimpernel is really good to have. Uh, but wait. Oh yeah, yeah. So the damage prefix with a fire rate grip. But then again, if you have a matching grip, you'll get both magazine size and fire rate. So it's uh, always better, I guess. Then again, there are a lot worse combinations of uh, weapon parts and prefix. Alright, spider, jump. Or die. Now, for Herbert, I need to collect the polycriton and the tapes and everything. I think it's the tapes first. And apparently, to farm Tootless Terry, you don't have to do the uh, No Dessert for Desert Deserters quest on the patch. Because, uh, clearly, he did spawn and he can also drop Pimpernels. So I might have to farm him for, for like, level 88 Pimpernels for doing the peak. <laughs> nice cracking. Peace, doesn't she? Oh yeah. Let's talk, you and me. I'm confused. If you say let's talk to someone, then don't you imply you and me like immediately? Alright, so I need to get the tapes. Am I gonna go there already? Yeah, I'm gonna take a risk for it. I don't think you have to pick up anything from uh, Herbert here. And I was right. Calculated risk. Now they should be in that boat. For now. Yeah, killing mobs doesn't give a whole lot of XP. Whoa. That's shaking screen though. Alright. Spider ant. Okay. I was about to say, don't burrow, and then we'll be friends. And uh, he didn't burrow, so... Uh, Slow me down, let me jump. And kaboom! I was worried something like this would happen. Just collect his little love letters as quick as you can, sorry. How did you see that coming? Like, it's literally a ship in the middle of nowhere, and it suddenly explodes as soon as I come close? That is not something you can see coming. I mean,. I mean, she didn't say she saw it coming, but she did say she was worried something like that would happen. So, kind of does imply she saw some of it coming, at least. Scarlet, I wrote you a haiku. <laughs> the syllables. You got a nice butt. You also got a nice chest. Your face is okay to... Oh, six syllables tight. <laughs> Remember guys, in a haiku, when you do a haiku, always do it with five syllables. And then, I guess it's five seven five seven or something? I... At least not six. But uh, Herbert told you that already. Oh, super badass pirate. Oh, 
Oh, follow through. Why are you so great? And this concludes the sound. Don't block me. Okay, this is mixtape number two hundred six. I call this one Herbert dropping the mixtapes. your hands afterwards oh no I have become infected plasma caster with a matching grip and Hyperion stock but it's slag so who cares actually that's a super good slagging weapon but uh, not as good as the paper now so no thanks Dad ball. Oh, I did it again. Uh, okay. Um, actually, I shouldn't pick up this next mission because that will give me the uh, Sandhawk I think I just wow I almost did that to be fair I did also reset the storyline on my uh, gun zerker who is now at OP10 so I could always use him for farming the Sandhawk but that would be more fitting for me to uh, farm it on this character Maybe, possibly. Although I do remember that at some point I did that in this playthrough. <laughs> and then uh, I realized that I couldn't continue the story mission up until I found all perfect Sandhawks. But then again, there's not a whole lot I want to do in this DLC for now. So that's it for now on this DLC. I'm curious, what else did we do? Oh, no uh, Torg DLC yet? No Dragon Keep? No Warrior? Yeah, this is the problem with a strategy like this. You know, we could kill some uh, Uranus. Let's do that. Let's get to level 77. Just for funsies. And remember.
remember to put on the oh corrosive bone is on. Great. Saving my action skill for uh, when I really need it. And hopefully we'll be able. Oh, we'll be able to find uh, Saturn. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Uranus a little bit faster this time. No, oh, he's dead. Oh, it's still coming down. I don't want to get squashed. I mean, all words are made up. Yeah. Wait, is it down? Yeah, it is. My. Ooh, I want to kill that. Kill it. I'm an assassin, remember? You don't screw with me. Am I doing the Sirentology mission now? I didn't mean to hack the door. Did I hack the door? Wait a minute. Did I do something wrong? I need to check something. No, hack the door is still the objective. Okay. I don't know what gave me XP there, though. Or, like, did I discover the map? What? No, no, hacking door is that way. So, that's this thing. It's all going according to plan. Oh man, antagonist. Have I told you how good this shield is? I probably have. <laughs> this music reminds me of Rick and Morty. Right? Yeah. Like the intro for them. Ah, yeah, okay, so. Here is where I need to go. Here is where I need to go. Rifle image, and there he is. Your eyes deceive you, and illusion fools you all. Twenty five K XP. Wait, did he drop no legendary? That can't be right. There's still loot here, but no. He did not drop a single legendary. Why is this blasphemy? I thought Uranus was OP for loot. 
And I almost save quit there, but I just remembered that we can get the better spawn. So this way. And I believe it's here. Nope, it's not. It's here. No, that's the place where you find him. Um, do you just continue in this corridor? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, you can dislike this video if you want. <laughs> wow. That is... So, we came from that way. Yeah, I was going the right way after all. Why is this map so confusing? That is where it should be. So, this way. Yeah, I just uh, silenced myself out of a uh, Stupidity. There we go. I mean, to be fair, this place is a giant maze. They're not all for basically two kills. Alright, let's get this last kill on Uranus and then uh, we'll call it an episode. And jump. Ooh, too, too early. Get some sniper ammo, maybe? Nope. I mean, not that you need more than 10 shots for uh, Uranus, anyways. Now, Saturn, we did manage to uh, one shot quite well in the story mission this time. But I haven't one shot Uranus yet. So let's give that a try. Ah it did quite a bit of damage but not not as much as we needed it to. There is a legendary The Longbow Quasar, zero fuse. Alright that is a lot better than the loft quasar we had. Nice, and actually the quasar, I just use that for pulling stuff in. So I don't even need that to be uh, on level. That is so much better than the loft quasar. That's an <laughs> Honestly, I just wanted to see what legendary it was, uh, but I didn't expect it to be something useful. That is great. Now to be fair, this is actually something you can still kill yourself with. So, I would have rather it be 46 like that one. But, like, it's so much better than lobs. That is really cool find. Thank you very much, Uranus. <laughs> you know, you never know what comes out of Uranus. It's always uh, something... <laughs> something pretty, I guess. And the skin. Okay, let's put our uh, skill point in Unforeseen and call it an episode. Thank you very much for watching this one. And yeah, we're getting closer and cro closer to that level 80. So uh, see you again very soon. Bye bye.